anti-gravity might have just killed every single app builder and the workflow you see right here was never possible until now yes this is a live recording of an ai agent looking through my application and editing it this is no joke this isn't clickbait there is no FOMO here. Well, I guess there's a little FOMO. Your fear of missing out because you're watching this video. Gemini 3 genuinely just changed the game to the next level. Let's jump in. Welcome back, y'all. In today's video is a highly, highly, highly requested video where I compare this new IDE from Google to everything else. And then obviously the biggest player in the room, the one that's just kind of sitting at the lunch table right now, like who invited this guy? Cursor is going to be, <laughs> we're going to do a comparison there as well. So I want to go over four main things. The four main things I'm going to go over in today's video is going to be obviously the new Gemini 3 model, massive. I'm also going to be comparing the user interface between anti-gravity and cursor, and then you can kind of translate to whatever you use, maybe VS Code, Windsurf, Replit, etc. Next, I'm going to tell you who the winner is now, today, status quo. And then I'm also going to tell you who the winner it will probably be long-term when it comes to building applications with AI and having it integrated. And then finally, I'm going to show you that extremely cool workflow that you saw at the beginning of this video. Sound good? Let's jump in. Leave a like. Make sure to give some hype. Let's do it. All right, the elephant in the room, or maybe not so much anymore because it absolutely just destroyed the floor in the room, Gemini 3. All right, two things. First thing, this is an extremely powerful model. I'm not going to overhype it to y'all. It's powerful, but it, it's almost like a pit bull on rabies or something like that, where I gave it a task, it executed, and the specific task I gave it is for this software we're creating together called Thumbio. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out this channel here. I have an entire playlist for this. I'm showing you from zero lines of code, if you have no experience, how to vibe code an entire software. Thumbio, and I'm showing you everything. The point being is that I went ahead, log in. Let's go in and log in. Orange chicken, oh, amazing. Sign in, peach. I love peaches. Princess peach. I gave it the task because what I like to do with these models, I like to give it a little bit of a excessive task to see if it can one shot real code because i don't know about you but there's a lot of influencers that don't actually code that talk about these kind of topics but it's like i just one shot at a to-do list lap i don't care <laughs> so what i needed it to do was if you saw my other lesson when it came to this is we created the relevant data paths for all the data shown on the application up to this point whether that is the user's email what the user category is when it comes to creating thumbnails you know data points like the hay bells or minutes etc so i gave it a pretty extensive task here I gave it a schema, all the relevant data paths, and I said, go, proceed, connect it to Firestore. Because right now we were loading it in IndexedDB. It did it. Pretty good. I'd say it got 90% the way there. But the issue I was having with Gemini 3 Pro is when I let it off the leash, it went a little bit too crazy. And it started making changes in other parts of my application that I know I didn't ask for in the prompt. Another issue that I found with Gemini 3 Pro was within the IDE itself, you know, obviously anti-gravity here, we got planning and fast. Google, when I select planning, don't have this thing change files, please. That's frustrating. What I'm going to say right off the bat is cursor here, it's winning at planning for sure. Because one thing cursor does that is really fundamentally important for planning is I need to actually create the plan. The problem with anti-gravity right now is that it just jumps the gun. Knowing this, I also want to point out that Gemini 3 Pro High probably only have access to that within anti-gravity compared to what we have access to in here. Because if you look at the actual model, we go to settings and we go to the models here. What you'll notice is if you hover over it, oh wait, no, we got to actually go to where we burn the money. Let me go to that real quick. So coming down here, what you'll notice is Gemini 3 Pro Preview. I don't even care if supposedly Cursor says they have Pro High. Like supposedly they are connecting to the endpoint for Pro High. I can almost guarantee you, because at the end of the day, we live in a capitalist society and it's all competition. I can almost guarantee you Google is probably feeding Cursor a little bit of a dumber version of these models. I might be wrong. You know, maybe it's all sunshines and rainbows, but if... I was in charge of Google. Why would I not crack out the version of Gemini 3 Pro on my platform and give everyone else maybe the low version? Yeah, it's powerful, but it's not this powerful. I will say this though. What I have realized with Gemini 3 Pro is that it is fundamentally important. And I've talked about this in another video. I think it's like three steps to build any app. It's fundamentally important that you give it a plan that it will follow. This is very much, yeah, you could one shot stuff, but you're going to one shot a bunch of code. And then some of the code's going to be like, this is too much, dude. Chill out. So give it a plan and it performs way better than all the other ones I've seen so far. Which model do I like setting up and creating a plan with? You got to go if you're signed at 4.5 for the planning. And then my executioner could be Gemini 3 Pro here. What I will say this, and as I said earlier, Gemini 3 Pro is almost like that pit bull on rabies. If you got to destroy a bug, like that bug is pissing you off. 
I've been having great performance with the 3 Pro here, where it's able to actually identify the real bug and solve it. This is almost like you're playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and you know when you hear that kill streak package, Juggernaut? Gemini 3 Pro is the Juggernaut, but you're not going to use the Juggernaut for all your code. I guess if you're a savage, you can't. That's the situation on Gemini 3 Pro. This is a good model. This isn't like, uh, you know, back in the day, maybe like GBT 4.5 comes out and then the internet blows up and it's like, chill out. It's just 4.5. It's not as good as 4, whatever. Point being, this is solid, good model. Okay, let's compare the two. And I kind of already did a little bit when it comes to user interface. All right, here's the situation, y'all. This is Google's first push, so I don't expect their IDE to be absolutely amazing out of the box. You can tell with this IDE, it's a little bit glitchy still. And essentially... I don't like how we have the editor here and then they make like a whole separate tab for the agent mode. And then it's kind of separated here, et cetera, et cetera. Cursor AI has been at the game for quite some time now. They specialize and it's not like Google, which is a massive company that has a bunch of arms. This is their arm. This is their specialty. This is their laser in. So up to this point, today, status quo, Cursor is winning. Yes. But I think, and you can quote me on this, I think long-term this anti-gravity is going to win the game. Right now, it's clunky. Am I going to keep coding in anti-gravity, play around a little bit? Yeah, but production code, creating my apps, am I still going to stick with cursor? Up to this point, yes. What you got to understand about me is my loyalties are only aligned to the platforms and the products that actually work well. One big thing about me, if you've always watched my channel, is like two years back, I was extremely loyal to ChatGPT and ChatGPT outputs for code. But that was because at the time, I thought it had the best code outputs. But now I'm in a position where I'm like, okay, yeah, 5.1 GBT codex is good. Starting to really like 4.5 Sonic. Compose one is fire and now gemini 3 is killing it i'm not loyal to any of these two years from now i might be pro chat gbt again it doesn't matter to me i go where it actually has the value and right now i'm telling you the three model is fire but the ide it needs some work for everyone that is watching this right now and they're like corbin can you just show me how to use the ide don't worry that video is coming out tomorrow i'm going to show you like in 10 minutes how all the different features work here but let's go ahead and walk through that one demo i showed you at the beginning of the video in that video tomorrow or the day after i'll be going over a little bit of the nuance of the agent manager in anti-gravity also really cool name w name anti-gravity fire and i'm going to be going over the nuance of how you actually get this working and all the connections we have up to this point. Let's just do a cool demo together. So we got thumbnail.com, the best AI thumbnail generator in the world. By the time you watch this, it might already be live. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how this works. Well, first off, if we wanna see this cool little screen recording feature where it's able to analyze the video and walk through it, et cetera, et cetera, you need a plugin. So because of the fact that Google is quite literally a monster and owns Chrome, they made this plugin here. I know this looks a little scammy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, look at this. I, Google, you could have done better. You could have made this look a lot better. But I'm going to leave this in the description down below. You're going to need this extension in order for this to work with the IDE anti-gravity. Big thing here, though, because it's an extension, this is what gives its ability to do the extra steps you can't see in cursor or these other IDEs. So I'm going to say the prompt here, navigate to localhost 3000, look at my entire page and add a new component that would fit well. Problem is, and as I said earlier in the video, is I really wish I could just plan it. But what you'll notice is that it just goes off the leash. So let's see it go off the leash. Go off the leash, Gemini 3 Pro High. So as of now, Anti-Gravity doesn't have the browser tab that Cursor has. Really kudos to Cursor. That was a very, very awesome feature they added. But it will open up in Chrome because as you know, they own Chrome. <laughs> I mean, regardless, any IDE could open it up in Chrome, but the point being is that this is why long-term anti-gravity I'm pretty bullish on because Google can lean into all of its ecosystems when it comes to development. I mean, to be real, anyone that ever develops any type of web app, we love this little inspect. We love this ability to go to like, oh, device responsiveness. Like, this is awesome. This is huge, huge wins for developers. So we're gonna let this keep loading here. So obviously there's a lot of people using the platform. So it's a little slow. I went ahead and switched too fast here. If you want to see to pull up the Chrome, you come up here to the top right, you open browser. This is where it is at right here. One thing I will say right now, and Google, if you're watching this, please, 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 if I have this extension enabled and I just want to use Google Chrome normally, like I just want to use your browser, please stop having this show up on a new tab. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, for some reason, when it's enabled, I click a new tab. It just instantly goes here. That's annoying. Remove that. Don't have that. All right, let's go ahead and let this execute. It's officially cooked. <laughs> All right, y'all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and in the video I release either tomorrow or the day after where I show you how to use this entire platform, I'll show you this method I talked about in the beginning of the video. As you can see right now, I am recording this during absolute peak hours, literally launch date of one of the most massive platforms ever. And this thing is just not even working anymore. I was able to use it earlier today for a couple hours before basically everyone just kind of joined the platform. 
it's not even able to navigate it at localhost 3000. So I'm trans. If you can't tell, if this is your first time ever watching me, I'm very transparent about all bugs. I keep it real, y'all. So I will tell you if something's broken. And right now it's broken. So what we're going to do is that tomorrow or the day after, I'll be releasing a video where I show in depth this new method that was only possible literally today. And then everything we can use in anti-gravity comparative to the other platforms. Because right now I'm not going to sit here for 30 minutes while it's trying to understand how do I get to localhost 3000? Oh, come on, Gemini 3. You know how to do that. I'll leave you with this though. When it comes to using Gemini 3 Pro, really do set up a plan for it. It's a powerful model, but if it's unhinged, it will create new things that it thinks mentally like, oh, this would probably be a good addition. Or, you know, I'm not going to ask the developer what to do next. I'm just going to assume no assumptions, only executions. Oh, and one last thing. I was about to do the outro, but one last thing, y'all. If you're not following me on X, you should. I post a bunch of cool stuff here, but look at this, y'all. Oh my gosh. Y'all thought I was playing. I don't know who was with me for these last couple of weeks when I was saying, hey guys, it's a new era of coding. No one was listening. No one was listening. It's fine. I get it. You need like a trillion dollar company to finally tell you what I told y'all three weeks ago. Your new focus is architecting the solution, not implementing every single step. So congratulations. You have been elevated to a manager of agents. Instead of an agent living in your tools, your tools are now instruments for many agents. For those who have watched me and heard me say this weeks ago, you're going to be like, oh, he was not joking. I'm not joking. And for those people that are like, Corbin, I don't believe you still. I'm going to leave this video in the description down below. What he said verbatim is exactly what I go over in this video right here. And I was called crazy. All right, now here's the outro. Make sure you leave a like. It's completely free. And as you already know, these style videos, I'll see you in the next. Did a multi-trillion dollar company just back my statement today that I just said three weeks ago and no one was believing me in three weeks ago and they thought I was crazy type of video? I just one shot at a to-do list lap. I don't care. <laughs>